We are wine tasting with one of the coolest father-son duos ever. Please welcome Wyatt and Kurt Russell. Oh, yeah! It, it's the best. It's the best when you get to drink with your dad. Oh, yeah. When you got hanging out with my pops, first of all, I can't keep up with them. But when we're hanging out, <laughs> it, it, those are the best memories right there. So, Salud, tell us about what we're drinking right here, gentlemen. Well, you, you want to go first? No, let's drink some Lake Hour. All right, we'll go, I'll go first. So, this is a uh, drink that I created with my my partner in crime, Rich Pete. He's a producer. And, uh, well, we felt we needed to do something when we can't talk about movies. Um, so, <laughs> so let's pivot to So the let's idea. start a drink company. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. And we both grew up around lakes. I grew up uh, going to Toronto, in, like in two hours north of Toronto, a place called Muskoka. It, Wait, is that the family lake house that I always yes, see in y'all's videos? It was, yeah. yes. It's no longer no longer there. And unfortunately, we, we, we moved on to greener pastures. Um, but it, it, it did make me who I am in a lot of ways. And so in a hot tub one night uh -huh. uh, with Rich. We were on a family vacation. <laughs> there he is. Um, I wanted the hot tub pet. <laughs> yeah, and, we, and we, we, we had a few drinks and we were like, oh, what if we made a drink around lakes like, like called like Lake Hour? And I was like, that's an amazing idea. <laughs> yes, I'd love to do that. And so the whole idea is that it's like a, a nostalgic sort of throwback to a Ham's beer or uh, some go. kind of like old beer. Beer, uh, you know, beer nostalgia, and uh, but it is an RTD, and we have four flavors: rosemary, yuzu, watermelon, peach cucumber, peach, good. jasmine. There we go. And is it lake hour because ginger. any hour is a good hour at the lake to drink? Is any that the connotation? Good, what, what, I what agree. Salute. Yeah, salute. 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 Lake hour. Right. So, so oh we gosh, had a blast so making good. it, and they're subtle and they're not crazy. Oh, this fruity is good. This has got like tequila in it or something. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, these are cocktails. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're drinking cocktails. That's what I'm talking about. I like your set here. There we go. You're becoming the alcohol family. Because I your know, wine crazy. is unbelievable. We've had you on before with it. Tell everybody about the your wine. The wine. Well, this, yeah. Well, we have to. This is see. This is this is formulaic. Once you got it, you got it. Uh, we winemakers have to deal with a little bit of a higher source. <laughs> 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 we get what we get. Right. It's a little more in the fine wine category. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's more of just like it's, it'll get you drunk. It'll go. It tastes pretty this good. Is the I like the <laughs> <laughs> That works. Well. Yeah. <laughs> These are both winning. No, this is uh, this was just I listen. I got Goldie and I would go on. Um, Bicycle trips in uh, Europe to get away from the kids, and <laughs> and, and uh, actually um, we had a blast in in doing those trips. But uh, I found myself always wanting to go back to one area in particular, and that was the Burgundy area. Ah. And go, I, I would say, Galdi, I think that's really beautiful. Uh, I think it's a great area. And she said, I think you like the wines in that area. And I said, You're right. So hand yes, me your glass. Yes. And this is why uh, I got into this because. I was lucky enough to meet Thank you. Uh, of some people. Uh, Peter and Rebecca worked Thank through you. a man named Greg Gorman. And uh, I wanted to make Burgundian Thank style uh, a very specific uh, <laughs> type of Pinot Noir. <laughs> and I found a place in Southern California uh, through Peter and Rebecca. And they became my wine mentors. Uh, he is. I think a really terrific winemaker. Yeah. And it's uh, only two and a half hours north of Los Angeles. Ooh. And so I, if you want uh, the fine wines that come from the Santa Rita Hills area. Yeah. And by the way, uh, the Ojai Valley Wine and Food Festival is October 26th through the 29th. And they have the top 100, some of the greatest wines there. We were uh, honored to be asked to Salute to that. Salute to that. That is wonderful. Yep. Salute. Appreciate that. Yeah. You know, but uh, if you're not doing anything the 26th to the 29th oh, of October, go have some fun. There we go. A little and you can drink some gogi there yeah. on the 29th. And Kurt, that, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but California has some of the best grapes, yeah. too, right? We're lucky that You know, that's a dirty little secret that I think <laughs> that uh, now there are some pockets in Southern California. I think Santa Rita Hills is one of them, uh, where I think we can rival anything in the world now. Yeah. And it gives you the opportunity to do some. The, the, the French, especially the guys in Burgundy, are fantastic winemakers, and to learn That's what good. they, so you know, good. what they what they have to offer over the years. But um, this is crazy. This is and, the first, and, this and, the first and, thing we've done. And, and, and this one is named oh, yeah. after my beautiful that, yeah, wife. You guys dedicated to each, the members of the family. Yeah, right? yeah. each vintage is a, is a member of the family, right? That's awesome. And this one's called La Mer, 
And that is for his wife, Meredith. Oh. Meredith oh, Meredith. Meredith. Does your son Buddy have a wine yet? He, actually, uh, Buddy oh, wait, Boy is what Buddy Boy comes next. All right. Yeah. And yeah. then last time you were here, Kurt, we drank a lot of Goldie. You had a lot of Goldie. Well, the is, Chardonnay. This is, this is, How would you describe the flavor of Goldie? Well, let's see. What does it say on the back <laughs> here? <laughs> Fresh, crisp, and fun. Goldie is lovingly <laughs> created at Opelos Winery by winemakers mm. Peter and Rebecca Work and their trusty apprentice, Kurt Russell. Uh, by the way, a portion of the proceeds of this uh, go to Goldie's Foundation, mind oh, up, that's which awesome. we're really proud of. But it's, uh, it is, it's a... It's a cool, it's a cool, it's a great, it's a, you, you know, know, it's a very, it's a high selling Chardonnay. It's really good. It's really you good. You know what I've learned is I want to party at the Russell Hahn. Yes. <laughs> That's like a crib, but you have a good time. Right. Yeah, we, we won't well, get into, arguing, into Kate's King Street vodka. She's oh, that's right. Yeah. She's got her world. She's, she's got hers yeah. coming out too. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, be, wow. This is yeah. good. This is a really good one. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And Kurt, I was complimenting you on your hair. Why? Describe your dad's hair for everybody. It is like <laughs> it is like my dad's hair is amazing. By the way, it's I didn't tremendous. get the. Russell hair gene. <laughs> well, no, it's on your face instead of yeah, on top right. of your head. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, but it's it's like, and he does have like this great mane of hair yes. at, at his age where it's like, I hope that's me. You know, <laughs> I, 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 it's not looking that way. Like, that's why I'm wearing a hat. Uh, <laughs> but your hat is way I'm cool. upstaged by my father's hair. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Too late. You got the greatest hair in the world. Really you know what's you know so great? I, I love, it's so funny. I got to do this something with you. Uh, that, that um, you, what you can, we, there, he's the only actor in the world, I think, that there's like a grid uh, on social media that I've seen of just his hair in different movies, <laughs> and you can see, you can tell what movie it was by just the man. hair. But, yes, but yeah. that's how I come to the hair hair segment. <laughs> <laughs> this man, I'm feeling a little Snake Plissken right now. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kurt, I always because I I'm I'm, all, I'm always a big fan of child actors that have been able to transition and they become. I just think because it's so difficult. How old were you when you first got into it? Was ten. You were ten. Yeah. Yeah. So ten years old. Could you recognize your dad's hair then, Wyatt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his hair, he grew into, his hair grew into his talent. <laughs> was it something you wanted to do? You just fell into it? Your parents put you in? No, my dad was an actor and ball player, and I did yeah. the same thing in my life, and that was it. And I, you know, it was just, I don't know, it became the family business somehow. And obviously, there's Goldie, there's, there's yeah. Oliver, there's Kate, there's Wyatt, there's Meredith, there's myself. The only one who seemed to escape it, it, its grasp is Boston, who is a therapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need Somebody one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the same thing. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. With all, yeah. Somebody to keep things copacetic. We need That's Boston. Awesome. Well, when we come back, we're going to be staying at the bar with Kurt and Wyatt to play a little Never Have I Ever. Bottoms Stay up, fellas. Us. I was going to say it. Oh, and I can tell. Welcome back to Access Daily. We're here with Kurt and Wyatt Russell. Uh, we have shown that video of Goldie 70. By the way, that's the therapist that you just saw Boston on the video. There he is. We got him. Wyatt, w describe Goldie as a mom. That's an impossible thing to do because she's so, um, she's every, what every child would hope for would be a mom like my mom. Aww. She's so supportive. She always knew when was the exact right moment to be mom like I had two very different parents and they were the best parents but my mom always knew like when she could when she needed to use her superpower when em empathetic and and be sympathetic and just be the shoulder to cry on or listen to mm -hmm. or just give you that like one great piece of advice where you're just like totally turns your head around and you go like okay yeah the, the sky's not falling you're right Aww. you know who was a disciplinarian uh, the, the man to my <laughs> right. I like Thank that. God. You have I like to that. have that. Right, yeah. right. Well, Kids Kate are... describes you as a shake your hips kind of dad. Would you say that's accurate? I don't know what that is. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, I, I think it's your dancing. <laughs> you know, but... I just, you know, I, we were lucky. We had four great kids. Yeah. Um, that was they, they, they. I don't know. Hockey brought him up uh, for one, and and. Uh, it's the greatest thing there is. Yeah. We're, we're talking about Buddy right now, and he's two and a half years old. You just want to hit the pause button so it stays yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. He's going to be Stop a great world, golfer. You know? It's crazy how true that I is. I don't know. It's just, I, I don't I But you know, it's such lucky. an interesting thing you said that. I just, it, one of the other things that was great that they did was 
uh, they recognized the things that I was good at and loved and wanted to do, and then supported it and supported it in yeah. such an, an incredible way. I moved to Vancouver to support my hockey career, like all of these things. But even more more importantly than that, knew for me, my dad specifically, of who to pass me off to, who I was going to spend a lot of time with when we were playing with coaches and mm -hmm. hockey and all that. That's important. Who is going to be that person for you when you're 14, 15, 16? Because like eventually you're yeah. going to have to pass that off. And yeah. he, he, he was able to like identify those people for me that were going to be important and like well, never we missed. Too. There's you a know? man named Paul Fricker who was incredibly <clears throat> important in his life. Yeah. Because they're always, especially with, um, especially with talented athletic children, if you're close to that and you know you do want to support it, but there's also a point at which the last thing they want to hear is your voice. You're, you're, you're exactly yes. right. Yes. You're gonna, you know, straight. Straight. So you need to find someone else's voice that they'll exactly hear that right. is going to say pretty much the same thing. Yes. It took me a minute to realize yeah. that, but you're yeah. right. And I was like, is it mean? Yeah. It's frustrating, but you're right. Just because you're it's the right. Right. It's just, oh, yeah. They hear you all day yes, long. Yes, yeah. The last enough, thing enough, they enough. Right. And it's, right. so, it's so great to come back now at this age and I finally, I'm 37, almost 40 years old, being able to like share these moments with my dad because we had those foundational moments that we were able to build on. It's so fun for me. Yeah. And and doing what we're doing now in terms of how we both uh, run our companies, you know, we are both, at, I'm the co-CEO of the company, so I'm on the phone with distributors and stuff. He's, the, I'm it. The, he's it. <laughs> Jamie, with my sister Jamie, Jamie and, and Bob, Bob Love, they run it. But like, Bob's but, kind but, of involved with you. And, and Bob's helped us. We've had some crossover with compliance stuff. And like, it's, it's, it's really been this incredible way that I've seen him do his th things like this in his life that are not acting, that are not film, that are not movie making. Yeah. And that how he's able to translate that to, you know, making it, making a wine or making a drink and creating story inside of that. And there's n nothing but hard work works. Yeah, like, yeah. And 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 I, I, luckily, I think that was you know something that they passed down to me, and that I'm trying to you know. I was thinking about that today because we were coming here. What do you talk about, right? I think I'm glad you said that because the the truth is, as you both know, it doesn't make any difference if it's baseball, golf, a school, making lake hour, making wine, making a movie. Do it the best you possibly can. Find out. Talk to people. Learn. Yeah. But make the best you can make. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, you're going to get one crack at it, yeah. so right. go for it. Go, go make and, it good. Yeah. 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 Make the high end. Do as good as you can do. To compliment you and Goldie, I always think the greatest success you see through people's children, you have some of the most joyful kids that seem to be really well, so well done to yeah. you, uh, too. I, I, think that, I know that's a that's lot our, of hard work. We've had them a lot here now. As a parent. So, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Before it's we let you Goldie. gentlemen go, if you don't mind, <laughs> yeah. since, since we're at the bar here with, with both wine and cocktails, Settle we want to play yeah, a little I don't know where to go here. Real quick round of never have I ever. I've been going back and forth. Uh, we're going to read a situation, <laughs> and if you've over. done it, you got to drink, okay? So I'll start it off If you've done it, you have to drink. You have to drink. If you've done it. Never have I ever been mistaken for another celebrity. If you've done it, has you, anybody you mistaken, mistaken you for another celebrity? Has anyone ever mistaken you yes. for another celebrity? And you had a drink. Do you have the guzzle? Who did they think you were? Yeah, and then I need the answer to this one. Who did they think you were? Um, I have been. Uh, who's the kid from Game of Thrones? The, 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 oh, yeah, the guy, guy, guy from Game of Thrones. Yes, King Joffrey. <laughs> King Joffrey. Yes, I see that. Oh, like, Joffrey, nine that's years ago. <laughs> Would you get Kurt? I used to get, I don't now, but I used to get two uh, a lot was, uh, and we and they did too. Um, uh, okay, and I'm going to blank. Je uh, Je Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Oh, oh yes. Okay. And, and, uh, and uh, uh, Patrick, Patrick Sweet. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, Thank wait, you. I know. And got one. Into, <laughs> they got into, <laughs> I flew with him. Yeah. That's funny. The, 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 the Jeff Bridges one was pretty. There's some pretty funny stories That's there. And we funny. got to share a few one time. So that was. That He's was got good hair, too. I know another one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Never have I ever hung up on Paul McCartney. Oh, no. That right there. Good. Bottoms up, Wyatt. Oh. How did wow. you hang up on him? It's a long story. Do we have time? Uh, not really. Okay. The, sound bite the, version. The sound bite version is Paul McCartney, who I didn't know was Paul McCartney, called Vancouver. He said, it's, it's Paul. It's Goldie there. And I was like, yeah, sure. Man. And then I realized, like, wait a second. Was that an English awesome. accent? And then it was Paul McCartney. That's great. Yeah. Never have I ever been kicked out of a bar. Oh, God. Hey, oh, wow. It's in the family. All right. That's all right. Good. My go. father was involved. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, never have I ever been voted most handsome in high school. No. Definitely not. You don't you, drink. Right? You were voted most handsome in I high was? school. Yes. We have I a was? Yes. I was to me. <laughs> you were most handsome.
Tim Kirk. Thousand Oaks High School? Yes. T.O., you went Somebody's to T.O.? Somebody's lying to you. <laughs> You went to T.O.? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I love that. That was the answer. Yeah. I love it. I love it. All right. Big thanks to you guys for yeah. coming. Thank thanks you. for hanging out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you. Be Send sure to pick up Hello. some Lake Hour cocktails and gogi wines. And as always, drink responsible. They're both great. We'll be right back, everybody. You too, buddy. Thank you. Congrats.